How that bird did tease the wolf. How he wanted to catch him. But the bird was cleverer, and the wolf simply couldn't do anything about it. Meanwhile, Peter made a lasso, and carefully letting it down... the wolf by the tail and pulled with all his might. Feeling himself caught, the wolf began to jump wildly, trying to get loose. Peter tied the other end of the rope to the tree. And the wolf's jumping only made the rope tighter around his tail. Hunters came out of the woods. Following the wolf's trail and shooting as they went. But Peter, sitting in the tree, said, Don't shoot, don't shoot. Bertie and I have already caught the wolf. All you have to do is help us take him to the zoo. And there, imagine the triumphant procession. Peter 
Peter at the head. After Peter, the hunters leading the wolf. And winding up the procession came Grandfather and the cat. Grandfather tossed his head discontentedly. Well, he said, and if Peter hadn't caught the wolf, what then? Above them, the bird flew, chirping merrily. My, what fine ones we are, Peter and I. Look what we have caught. And if you listen carefully, you can hear the duck quacking in the wolf's belly because the wolf, in his hurry, had swallowed her alive. 